Now, if you're on Facebook and you've ever looked at anything related to horror or are part of a horror fan group or have talked about horror with a friend during lunch, for instance, because Facebook is listening to your every conversation through your phone, then I'm sure Facebook's advertising algorithm has placed an ad similar to this one directly in your path. I've seen I can't tell you how many ads for these horror character garden gnomes on Facebook as of late. All of the links take you to different, somewhat suspect-looking websites where you can purchase these things. All of the websites use the exact same photos of the items, and if you check the comment section of the ad itself, no doubt you'll see any number of people warning that it's a scam. If you do a quick Google search of any of the websites hosting these sales, you'll find plenty of postings from people claiming that they're being scammed by the website. They've either purchased these things, were charged for them, and then six months later they've not received them, or the items they received were not quite the items that were pictured. So I decided to tempt fate and purchased five of the horror character garden gnomes about two weeks ago. And, much to my surprise, they arrived today. For a package from China to get here this quickly? I'm impressed. What's not impressive is the fact that all five of the horror character garden gnomes are supposed to be inside this one small bag. Yeah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside. And I think you can tell just how excited I am to take a look at these. I wouldn't describe my expectations as being low. I would describe them as being subterranean. But nevertheless, here we go. All right. And there's already, well, here, I'm assuming this is one of the horror character garden gnomes inside this tiny smashed up box. So let's see, who have we got here? This is Jason. And whoever took, let's, let's just go ahead and get him out of the bag. All right, here's the Jason one. And um, I, I will do up close footage of these guys so that you can see them in all their, don't know if glory is the right word, but um, you'll get to see them far more up close momentarily. But whoever shot the photographs for these things, they did an excellent job with the Force perspective, because in the photos, they appear to be, I would say at least 12 inches, you know, at least a foot in length and, you know, maybe a six inches wide. This guy is tiny, really, really tiny. This is not a garden gnome, a yard gnome, whatever you want to call them. This is a... Um, I, I, I don't know what this is to be perfectly honest. It kind of looks like Jason. The design of it is, um, okay. It's, it, it doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it's got a good, you know, weight to it. It's got a good heft to it. I wouldn't want to drop it on my toe cause it would really hurt. The paint job is Okay. Um, it kind of looks like he's got a brown jacket on over a silver suit of armor. Why they decided to paint the shirt sleeves and the pants silver, no idea, but there's a brand, even the jacket looks like something out of like medieval times. It's, it's like Friar Tuck or something would wear this jacket, not Jason Voorhees. And he's not so much wearing a mask as his whole head is his whole head is the mask with ears protruding from the sides, like big protruding ears. And 
black, great white shark eyes. Um, he's holding a knife with some blood on the tip of it. And, um, yeah, I, uh, there's nothing written on it anywhere. Nothing on the bottom. Um, okay. So this is the Jason yard gnome, garden gnome, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's ventilation holes in the front of the face and in the back also. There's ventilation holes all the way around his head as if his head, as if the head itself has ventilation holes. I don't, th whoever did this, I don't think, I, I don't think they ever saw a Friday the 13th film clearly. Um, all right, let, let's move on. This is the Jason one. Let's move on. Let's just move on. All right, so we've got a bag within a bag with the other. Gnomes inside and let's see who this is. This is, oh my God, uh, this is Freddy. Oh my God. I, I, I don't even know what to say. The claws on F the razors on Freddy's glove are almost as long as the entire body. And they're even curved at the end. Um, the red and green sweater, it's totally red on the back and it's a very dark maroon kind of red. Um, he's got gray pants on and these big, like clown shoes, these big black clown shoes on. As far as the face, um, it doesn't look like a burn victim so much as it looks like, a, like a ghoul that somebody just poked a bunch of times with like a, a toothpick while it, while the, the, the head was still it doesn't look like Freddy at all. Really? It's got the same black, uh, great white shark eyes. It's got a bit of a smirk on his face. Um, uh, his other hand has three fingers and a thumb or actually I think two of the fingers may be fused together. I, th I don't know. This guy's got some problems. The Freddy has a lot of problems. This one is, um, I thought the Jason one was bad. I can't wait to see the rest. Next up we have got, Let's see. Who have we got in here? Ah. We've got Ghostface. We have got a little Ghostface. And um really interesting knife that Ghostface is carrying here, very wide and very short but they at least carved into it like a little blood gutter. Why they decided to take, I mean, who thought, okay, so this thing, this thing looks, <laughs> so who thought, how can we really make this thing pop and really give it that touch of realism? Let's carve in a tiny little blood gutter on Ghostface's knife. Um, the, the black cloak looks okay. Um, the face, it looks more like the, the screamer from that, that, that painting than it really does the Ghostface mask itself. 
and it's very kind of dirty. The it's 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 very dirty. And the the other hand, there's really not a hand. It's just like a white stump. So I think Ghostface must have lost his left hand because there's just a white stump there. Huh, I feel bad for Ghostface. There's like some, there's red stuff on my fingers now. Where did red stuff come from? Is the paint on Freddy not dry? Is it rubbing off on my hands? What the? All right, I have no idea where red stuff came from. I've got red on my fingers now. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the, I'm sure the paint on these things, the paint they used for these things is probably incredibly toxic and it's just wearing through the layers of skin on my hands is probably what it's doing. But this is ghost face. This is a very dirty ghost face. Um, so far, this is the best of the bunch, but that knife is just, I, I don't know what they were thinking with that knife. That knife just, it looks like one of those big oversized hollow plastic Halloween knives you find at Walmart that glow in the dark. But so far, Ghostface is the best of the bunch. And that ain't saying much. Next, we have got... Ooh. Who we got next? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What have they done to Leatherface? This is... Oh. I'm not even sure where to begin when it comes to Leatherface here. His face is green. It's green. Why did they paint the mask green? I mean, did Leatherface kill a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and make this mask out of Leonardo's flesh? I... And the chainsaw. He's... Leatherface's left hand is missing too, and it's been wedged inside the handle of the chainsaw. So Leatherface is an amputee too. What do these people have against left hands? The apron on one side is brown, and on the other side is that same green shade? That the mask is, is, is the same green shade as the mask? The chainsaws, okay. Um, there's a little bit of blood on Leatherface here and there. This figure really would not be too bad if the mask wasn't green. Um, the hair is the hair is way too neat and combed to be Leatherface because this is like leather. This is like banker Leatherface. He's got like. He's combed his hair for his job as a bank teller down at the BB&T or something. Why would Leatherface have such neatly combed... I mean, it's perfectly combed hair. Hair aside, weird, amputated, left hand aside, if the mask had been painted a flesh color, this would have been the best of the bunch so far. The sculpt isn't really that bad, to be honest, minus the, and he's only got three fingers. He only has three fingers on his good hand. His teeth are black. Again, the, the, the black, great white shark eyes. What? I, I don't get that. But his teeth are also black. Uh, okay. Put leather aside. Final one. Here we go. Ah. He doesn't want to come out of the bag, and I can completely see why. Good Lord. It's... It's supposed to be Michael Myers, but it's Michael Myers with Don King hair. Maybe this is... I mean, maybe this is supposed to be Michael like caught in 
some kind of tornado because the hairs just f- s- the mask is at least it's it, at least it's painted white. At least they got that right on this one. But the jumpsuit is like this bright blue, this very bright blue jumpsuit. He's holding a knife that looks like it's been broken, like it broke off in the middle because there's no tip on it, yet there's blood at the end of the knife. He's got a left hand at least. So he's up on ghost face and leather face. He's at least got a left hand, although it looks like his left hand only has three fingers. You've got the black, great white shark eyes, and it it looks like he's smirking. He is doing kind of the head tilt, but it's like he's head tilting and looking at like, you know, like he's getting ready to eat a steak. Like he's looking like he's, you know, that look, you know, that's what, that's what he's doing here with his hair blowing back as if he's, what is with the hair? Why is the hair like that? I actually think this is my favorite of the bunch just because he looks so odd. Again, he's got the head tilt, but he's got kind of a smirk, the hair. I. (laughs) So I know what you're probably thinking, Piz, what were you expecting? Well, pretty much this. I mean, A, I'm surprised that I got anything in the first place. And B, that they came within two weeks of ordering them. Um, but I I really thought that they were going to be a little bit bigger. Again, kudos to whoever photographed these things because they did an excellent job of making them look much bigger than they actually are. Still, they're kind of an, kind of an interesting oddity. I've also just noticed that that they're different weights too. Like Leatherface is very light. It almost feels like he's hollow, whereas Jason is really heavy. Michael Myers is super heavy. I'm guessing it's all in the hair. He's like the smallest one, yet he's the heaviest. And Ghostface is very light. The two biggest ones, Ghostface and Leatherface, are the lightest. And the two smallest, Jason and Michael, are the heaviest. None of it makes sense. Um, It's, I don't know why I'm expecting things to make sense at this point. But um, yeah, again, (laughs) I, I guess I should be happy that I got anything at all. Now, granted, these were only like 10 bucks each, nine or 10 bucks each. So... I guess I shouldn't expect too much, but, um, yeah, so they're, uh, they're interesting little odd collectible pieces. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the horror character, garden gnomes, yard gnomes, whatever you want to call them. I can't really recommend them. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, you know what? actually kind of like them because they're so they're so derpy and odd that um i don't know they're they're growing on me they're growing on me but let me know what you think about these things down in the comments section below if you've purchased these let me know what you think of them (laughs) down in the comments section below Also, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.
A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.